Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about uh, static pods. So in the last video, I did give you a little uh, brief of static pods. So what are they? So in this video, we are going to go into details of static pod and see how we can actually deploy a static pod. So static pod is one concept that you won't actually, I mean, come across in your day to day life. Uh, if you're working with Kubernetes, if you're working in a production environment, it's basically, I mean, like I told you, static pods are the pods which are created by Kubelet directly and they're not managed by API server. Although once created, you can view them on the API server using kubectl command, but that is just a mirror object. So you can't actually manage static pods using your kube API server. So what is the actual use? So, I mean, for you, you probably wouldn't actually have to deploy a static pod for anything, right? But it's used by the tools like kubeadm. So if I go to my master node, so right now I was on my worker node, so I'm on master node. So kubeadm actually uses uh, static pods to deploy the Kubernetes control plane. And that is because uh, when kubeadm, I mean, when kubeadm is actually setting up the cluster, the API server is not available to it, right? So that is why it deploys all the Kubernetes uh, uh, control plane as static pods. So in the last video, I showed you the directory where the static files, I mean, the stat files for the static pods can be found. So let's just look into the directory, which is etc Kubernetes manifests, right? So you can see this has all the YAML files of all the control plane. So you have scheduler, controller, kube API server, and etcd.yaml. So these are the main control plane objects, right? All right, so this was theory about uh, static pods. How can we deploy a st static pod? So this is my worker one. So I want to deploy a static pod on this worker, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a YAML file first. So I'll create a YAML file, which is I can do simply by doing kubectl run nginx hyphen hyphen image nginx hyphen hyphen dry run not done run equals client hyphen o yaml so you can see this this command actually is going to give me a yaml file object for to run basically to run an nginx pod right so i'll just enter it and I'll just copy this YAML completely. I'll go to my worker node. And right now I am in my ETC Kubernetes manifest directory on my worker node, right? Now I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file called nginx.yaml. And I'll paste this YAML uh, file, which we just copied and which we just created, right? And now we're going to save this. And next, what we are going to do is we are going to restart Kubelet. So system CTL restart Kubelet. All right, so now if we go to our master node, let me clear the screen. And if we do kubectl get pods, so you can see it has actually created an nginx worker and the status is running and it was created 28 seconds ago and if i just do a wide on this and you would see that this is working on this is actually even deployed on worker one all right so what if i do kubectl edit pod and the next worker will I be able to edit it and suppose if I just go down below over here and instead of nginx image I make it say busy box right all right so I mean I was able to edit the pod you see it didn't give me any error right but has this thing actually worked? So let's just check that out. So I'll do kubectl describe 
pod nginx worker one all right let's go up and you see the image is actually updated it shows busy box but has it actually affected our actual pod right so in order to confirm that i'll just get the ip of this pod let me clear the screen on my master node and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do kubectl logs and i'll do an hyphen f on my nginx worker one right and i'll go to my worker node and i'll do a simple curl on the ip address which is basically i'm just curling the nginx home page right so you see i still get the nginx home page instead i actually changed the uh, image but that was just a mirror object so that is what I, I was i was trying to tell you that you will get to see those pods on the api server using your api calls like kubectl but you can't actually manage that using your uh, api server so you see if i come across on the logs you see there's a request right so still it is still functioning as an nginx pod even though we have changed we have updated the image the actual pod has not been updated it's just the mirror pod which has been updated right cool so yeah guys this is it for this video this is all about static pods you would probably won't i mean come across them in your day-to-day -day working but it's good to know about this in the next video i will actually cover probes which are very important concept uh, in, uh, in pods basically so we'll there are three major probes which we would go over and we'll see how we can actually uh, deploy them right inside the pod Cool. So this is it for this video, guys. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.